Hey guys, having learned simultaneous equations, let us put our knowledge to test by solving some of the questions related to it. And this is the first question. So what are the values of x and y that will satisfy both of these equations? So you have the equations here. Let us write them and name them. So you have 3x plus y is equal to 19 and you have x minus y is equal to 9. Now you can cancel out y here if you add equations 1 and 2. So this is equation 1 plus you have to add equation 2 to it. This is plus, minus plus becomes minus and plus plus becomes plus. So 3x plus x gives you 4x, y minus y gets cancelled out is equal to 19 plus 9 gives you 28. Therefore, x is equal to 28 divided by 4 gives you 7. So the value of x you have got as 7. Now, you can put this value of x in equation 2 to get the value of y. So the equation 2 is x minus y is equal to 9. x is 7, so 7 minus y is equal to 9. Therefore, y is equal to 7 minus 9. And that is y is equal to 2. So x is 7 and y is minus 2. Let's move on to the next question. What is the value of a minus b if you have been given these two equations? Now let us again write those equations. Now let's say you have to cancel out this variable b. To do that you will have to multiply equation 1 by 2. So equation 1 times 2 and you have to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So let us do that. So equation 1 times 2 becomes a becomes 2a, b becomes 2b and 5 times 2 is 10. And you have to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So 2a minus 3a gives you minus a. 2b this will become minus. 2b minus 2b gets cancelled out equal to 10 minus 20. So 10 minus 20 is minus 10. So we have the value of a as 10. Now we have to calculate the value of b. So let's put this a equal to 10 in equation 1. The original equation which is a plus b is equal to 5. a is 10 plus b is equal to 5. So b is equal to 5 minus 10 that is minus 5. So you have a as 10 and b as minus 5. But you have been asked the value of a minus b. So what is a minus b? a minus b is equal to 10 minus of b is minus 5. So that is equal to 10 plus 5 that is 15. So the answer is 15. Let us move on to the third question. You have to find out x plus y if these two equations are given to you. So let us rearrange these equations 1 and 2. You, you have been given 7x is equal to 5 times x plus y. So this is 7x is equal to 5 times x plus y is equal to 5x plus 5y. Now you can move all the things to the left hand side of the equal to 7x minus 5x minus 5y is equal to 0. 7x minus 5x is equal to 2x minus 5y is equal to 0. So our equation number 1 is 2x minus 5y is equal to 0. So let us rub all these things and write the final equation. And this is equation 1. The other equation is 3x minus 5y is equal to 5. And this is equation number 2. Now you can remove 5y from these both of these equations. To remove that you'll have to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So if I subtract this becomes minus, minus minus becomes plus, plus becomes minus. So 2x minus 3x gives you minus x minus 5y plus 5y gives you 0 and 0 minus 5 gives you minus 5. Therefore x is equal to 5. 
So you have the value of x. Now you can find the value of y by putting x in equation number 1. Rather you can put x in any of these equations to get the value of y. In this case we'll put in equation number 1 which is 2x minus 5y is equal to 0. So 2 times 5 is 10 minus 5y is equal to 0. So 5y is equal to 10 therefore y is equal to 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Now you have been asked x plus y. So 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So x plus y is equal to 7. Let's move on to the last question of this video. You have been given three equations and you'll have to find out the value of three variables. So three equations, three variables, it is possible. Now let us write the equations properly. So we have 2 times x plus y is equal to 17. So there is no z. So you can write this as plus 0 z is equal to 17. This makes the equation much simpler and properly organized. The next equation is y plus 2z. So there is no x. So 0x plus y plus 2z is equal to 15. This is equation 2. And the third and final equation is x plus y, there is no z, plus 0z is equal to 9. This is equation 3. Now you'll have to remove two of the variables in order to get the value of third variable. So you cannot remove z because there is no z in the remaining equations. So what you can do is remove x and y. So how will you do it? And if you observe carefully, if you add equation 1 and 2, you'll get 2x and 2y. y plus y is 2y. And there is 1x and 1y in equation 3. So if you multiply equation 3 by 2 and then subtract equation 3 from the addition of 1 and 2, you can remove x and y. So let us multiply equation 3 by 2. So this becomes 2x plus 2y. 0 times 2 is 0. 9 times 2 is 18. Now you have to subtract equation 3 from the addition of 1 and 2. So let's put the plus sign here. So this is plus and you have to subtract equation 3. So This is minus. Plus becomes minus. Plus becomes minus again. Here is minus. So 2x minus 2x gets cancelled out. Then you have y plus y that is 2y minus 2y again is 0. And here again you have 0z plus 2z which is 2z minus 0z. So what remains is 2z is equal to 17 plus 15 minus 18. So 2z is equal to 17 minus 18 is minus 1, minus 1 plus 15 that is 15 minus 1 is 14. Therefore z is equal to 14 divided by 2 is 7. So you have the value of z as 7. What is asked is x plus y plus z. So x plus y plus z is equal to, you know the value of x plus y which is 9. So 9 plus z is 7. 9 plus 7. This is equal to 9 plus 7 is 16. So there is our answer. 16.